Hello everybody, it's Agent TJ here, and here we are. First video, as you can see, I am in a modded version of Minecraft, and it is actually uh, the ATL launcher's uh, crack pack. So, let's just jump right into it. Uh, i got to start a new world, and... Conquer the crack pack. Alright, so we got game mode survival on on cheats off bonus chest off let's go six seven eight nine all right create new world let's see what we get all right here we are in our new world we got our three books which i'll i'll look at those later ah uh, pretty good looks like there's a lot of land around i don't really like these trees though oak wood i like oak wood insert joke here I'm sure you've all heard it basically what I'm gonna do with this let's play it's gonna be like a normal minecraft let's play but I'm not a huge fan of normal minecraft anymore I've played it done it all it's not much more for me to do this gives me a lot of options and for those of you who don't know what this is um, it's basically just a mod pack that was created by a bunch of youtubers the minecraft team and friends of theirs made specif specifically for them so there's uh, a lot of cool different mods in it and they've got a server going actually where it's a private server of theirs and they basically play uh, on this this mod pack with a bunch of them so if you're interested in more uh, go check out their videos uh, just look up the crack pack I'm sure they'll all pop up eventually and the reason I'm doing this is because uh, they don't post enough it takes a lot for them to get good content, so it just doesn't fill my need of this game. So I just figured I'd do my own, and if anyone wants to watch, they can. So to start off here, I'm going to do the basics. I'm not going to be getting into the mods right away. I'm going to just try and get myself organized, get set up, get some basic stuff going. So it's going to look a lot like normal Minecraft off the start, except there'll be extra stuff around, like those the, the white rocks you saw and glowing ores and... We'll get into each and all the mods later, but I'm going to start off nice and basic here. As always, you got this stupid wooden pickaxe that is absolutely useless. The one thing I do love about this mod is the map, so I can see when I'm going to get ambushed. You can see there's a creeper around, but it looks like it's underground. <sighs> okay. So... This is going to be basically the only thing I post for now. Uh, Minecraft vi or Minecraft videos of the Crack Pack. I'm gonna say Minecraft a lot because I watch them so often. But um, thinking about posting the crew when it comes out, if I can figure out how to work that with the PlayStation. It's a game I've pre-ordered already. I can't wait to get it. It looks amazing. But I'm gonna try and post this as much as possible in my spare time. I am in university right now, so it. Not sure how m often I'll be able to do this, but I'm going to try. Alright, so there's our basic tool set. Oh, that's awful. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Alright, first things first, food. need lots of food to survive, so got to get some farms going. And one thing about me in Minecraft, I don't care what the condition, I will never eat uh the pork chops. Just one rule I made to myself when I first started playing this game, I won't hurt pigs under any circumstance. I'll die before I do. So if you see me starving to death and there's pigs around and wondering why I'm not slaying them, that's why. Not going to get into the reason now, but I might someday. We'll see. Alright, so let's look around here. Just a nice little starting area. Nice and bright. Lots of trees around. I'll dig in. Not very many seeds around. Not a lot of grass, but I'm sure we'll find some. I hate plants. Let's go. Oh, see, look, piggy. Oh, that's a cool hat, but it's on a pig. I'm going to try to do my best to collect every single hat. There are a lot of them, but... Oh, grass, okay. Whoa, never seen this before. So I am pretty new to this. I've played a little bit. 
as you saw, I've got a test world and a world that I started playing. And I cheated a lot, and I had to make sure that I cheat off for this, or else I probably will end up cheating. Ooh, okay. Food. All the other animals, though, I don't care about. We can slay them all. Stupid sheep. Chickens, I hate chickens. Alright, so I'm going to get a little bit set up here and I'll check back in with you when I get a bit of a starting farm going. Alright, so it's the first night. Got a little bit of stuff growing. There's a lot of different uh, seeds that I haven't seen before. Like, I have no clue what they are. And looks like I got a lot of berries. I got a berry bush here. Let's put this down. I guess just here for now. I'll move it later. Oh, I guess it has to be on dirt, maybe? Hmm. Dirt. Yep. Okay. Problem one solved. So there's a lot of mobs out there. I could sleep, but I'm going to dig down, and I'll let you know if I find anything. Holy crap. I could not click on my record button fast enough. I just got mauled by silverfish. And this stair block here was one of them, and it didn't break, so... When I broke the next one, it popped out, so I couldn't escape. Oh, that was close. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I got enough for one silver. Oh, that's a cave. Let's back off. Let's heal up. Okay, so it got me right into a cave. That's good. And I'll be right back once I'm all healed. Alright, so we are fully healed. I don't have a lot of food, so I can't stay down here long. But let's see what we got. So many ores everywhere. Okay. Got, I got going down, some crap stuff, that going up, all right, most importantly, we got iron, finally, uh, probably my biggest pet peeve in this game is using stone tools, they just move way too slow for me, and even iron, once I, uh, once we actually get started and I get enchanting and stuff, iron just doesn't cut it, gotta get that diamond efficiency for stuff, like, as quickly as possible, because it just makes you move so slow without it. We got a nice bit of supplies here. I'm gonna stick to just getting, oh, are you kidding me? I'm gonna stick to getting the stuff I need right now, just basic stuff, try and get enough for uh, one of the quarries. I think my, my first goal is to get a constant supply of stuff coming in, just anything I can get, so gonna work towards a quarry and a way to power the quarry. I think my favorite way to power the quarry is using the uh, refineries. So I usually I'll find an oil rig and I'll pump all the oil out into a refinery and have the quarry go in right there attached to the refinery. So we'll see how that works once we get started. I guess I can grab some tin. I'm gonna need this. But we'll start off basic. I guess uh a pulverizer is a good first step for today's video or maybe a macerator since it'll be uh oh i just should have made more than one pick a macerator will be easier to power early game i guess maybe kind of new to what they have in these mods so i'm not sure what's what and what's going to be the best way of going about this bedtime all right we're up Oh, it's raining, so there's still going to be mobs out. Oh, whoa, what are you? Zombie. Okay, you're not too bad. I guess you just got armor. I've never seen armor like that before. Oh, you have no arm. Oh, oh, okay. Should I pick up boots? I did. Oh, those heads get in the way. I hate how that happens. Oh, I got a head, though. Oh, another pair of boots. Is that steel? Looks like steel. Steel boots. Oh, Oz, what is this? Osmium boots. HP two f HP 310. Okay. So, get myself started here. Don't know what half of this stuff does yet. I do need this. Don't need that. I only need one of those. Iron, good. One, four. All right, that's all I need for now. Don't 
need that anymore. That can keep on me, that can keep Okay, let's go. Right, I thought there was a zombie head for a second. Okay, so I got a little bit of crops. Oh, it tells you how far along there. That's pretty cool. So this way I won't accidentally take them before mature. Does that mean it's ready? I'm guessing that means it's ready. Oh, yeah, I guess I do just break. Oh, okay, did that. I guess that's not how you do it. All right, we'll figure that out. Doesn't tell you with that. Doesn't tell you witchery. Which, okay, so witchery stuff doesn't tell you. Don't know what witchery is, but... I don't know if these drop apples, but we're going to try and get some apples here. So with the test world I had, I had um, like an automatic tree farm going that gave me a lot of apples. Like more apples than I could ever eat. So I'm probably going to end up using apples as my food supply because it just works. Even though they don't do the best like food regen. Copper, right? Yes, copper. All right. So a few of the mods I want to get into early is Thumbcraft, because Thumbcraft, you got to like research a bunch. It takes a long time. And the late game Thumbcraft stuff is really cool. Don't think I've ever really made it late game. I've always lost my world or something before that happened. I did have a pretty good world going on here. Um, pretty far in Thalmcraft. I had a nice base going with very like operational. Everything was where it needed to be to make stuff run smoothly and it got corrupted and I have no idea how. I was playing and I put glass in a redstone furnace and boom lost it all. So that sucked but it's time for a fresh start now. And One of my goals with this is going to be definitely to have my main base is I want it to be as high functioning as possible. I want everything to be being used. I don't want anything going to waste. Try and be pumping out as much power as I can so I could be using as much as I can and just basically try and find a use for everything. A positive use like cobblestone. I know it's hard but I'm still not sure if this is right. I think I have a way to make it efficient to turn it into lava and then use the lava to make something We'll figure that all out, and I am not doing good on food. Is this food? I'm guessing it is. Don't kill me. Don't poison me. It's probably not very good. Oh, that's not bad. It's like apples, I guess. But I'm not doing good on food. I need to find some mobs to kill. My spawn is set, so I'm good. I can starve to death. It doesn't really matter. Oh, pigs. That's kind of creepy. Also, I'm thinking about keeping a death count. I'm going to try not to die for as long as possible. and Maybe try and go for, like, don't die until I can kill the ender dragon or kill a wither or get a beacon. Just see how far I can get. Ooh, I'd like to get into bees, but that's a bit confusing. Oh, cows. I need cows. And grass and stuff. Okay. Die, cow. Die, cow. Okay, stay away from the lava, but die. Oh, I hate when they run. Oh, don't go in. Okay. Rubber wood. I need this. And I think my favorite thing in the game is definitely the Thalmcraft axe. The one that lets you, like, start at the bottom and it takes from the top down and just chops the whole tree down for you. I love that. I thought that was like, the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to try and get that. And then another thing I want to get is uh, to the deep dark. I've seen some people get there in their videos and it looks really cool there. Kind of creepy. But we're going to take a break here while I chop some stuff down and I'll find something to do to end off this video. Alright, we're going to end this video off with uh, getting ready for the future. We're going to start off a nice tree farm here. Just real basic, just all... Not automated at all, just gotta go around, self plant, self harvest. But it's gonna give me all the oak wood I need for now and these basically permissions of food. Uh, got a small farm set started. I've got two kinds of wheat, I guess the barley and wheat, then a bunch of other stuff that I don't know what it does yet. I'll figure that out in the next one. And I think next episode we're gonna dive into a mod. I don't think we're gonna start Thomcraft yet. I think I'm going to start with 
Tinkerer's Construct, get that that like liquid uh, ore thing going. I've got some sand and gravel already, gotta grab some clay still, but I'm probably gonna start with that. But we'll see, we'll see if anything comes up. And other than that, there's not really much to do today, I've got a lot of wood already. Got my steel boots on. I'm not sure if those knapsacks are any good, I heard they're bad because your stuff goes everywhere when you die. Doesn't go into your gravestone. Is this even Okay, it is. It's a good start to a farm. I got a pig that's been walking around. I guess he heard that pigs are off limits, so he thinks he's safe around me. Got a little bit of sugarcane. So I only found two, so I'm waiting for those to grow out so I can start getting some books going. Got a bit of steak, so I got. I think I've got six leather right now. But I've chopped down some of the trees around me to get saplings and food. And oh, yeah, this mossy stone. I found an arrow spawner down below and I took it out. But nothing special. I fell down right beside it. I thought it was going to kick my butt, but it didn't touch me once, so that was nice. But other than that, I think we're going to call it an episode here. Um, one thing I do look forward to doing in the future is large builds. That is, I want to use the mods as an advantage to not having to collect ores by myself. Because I, I love large builds. I don't think I'm the most creative person. Like, when it comes down to the small details, I'm sure there are many that are better than me. But I I like to give myself a, a large task. Either castles, churches, uh, towns. For those of you who watch uh, Minecraft videos a lot, you probably know Etho. Etho's a minecracker. He's the first minecracker I watched. He wasn't the first mine crafter I watched on YouTube but he was he's the one I watch the most now uh, he's got a bunch of things one thing I want to make this like is like his uh, single player LP a giant really cool underground base and then just his world is filled with amazing things that he's built over his like almost 400 videos now I think he's at and this so I want to do it like that have a bunch of different things going on, lots of projects, uh, futuristic towns, old style stuff, stuff in the sky, stuff underground, just all kinds of things I can, like all kinds of things. So hopefully I'm able to do that in the future, but for the next episode we'll be starting with the Tinkerer's Construct and maybe a small build, a starter house, because I don't like starting off in a little cave. So. We'll see where we go, but I'm going to end it off here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next episode.